Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing some upgrades for my Axial SCX-10 II, continuing the upgrade series. And I'm going to mess around a little bit with a BEC and some lights. Also while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the receiver so I can use my Spectrum DX5R. So I'm going to start out with the lights and then I'm going to get into the receiver because uh, I'm going to have to use an Axial Simple LED controller that's going to have to plug into the receiver. So I'll go ahead and put the Spectrum receiver in at that time. And then lastly I'll put in the BEC and I should be good to go. Okay. On the inside of the SCX-10 II, the light buckets are already in there. Uh, the accessory pack, or actually the extra parts bags that come with the uh, Axial K5, they have the backs to this so all I have to do is uh, run the wires and uh, put the backs on. Real easy. And the lights that I'm going to use are the AX24254, that's the orange LED, the marker lights, and I have the 24252, these are just white LEDs. The ESC is actually the AE5L, and it does have uh, little wire plugs that run off of the uh, ESC itself to control lights, that's actually what's uh, controlling the front um, fog lights, but they made it so you can't use existing axial lights. So that's why I have to go ahead and use the simple controller. So I guess uh, axial has updated lights, but I'm not using them, so no big deal. In the parts bag that you get with the rig, here are the pieces that you'll need. Uh, these will hold the lights in, these little uh, chrome clips, and they give you the hardware to go ahead and screw everything in. So I went ahead and just ran the white lights. Uh, they just are in there for right now. i got to put the backs and put the hardware in, but real easy, just slide them in. And the orange lights are going to be the same thing. They're going to just go ahead and just slide right in, and then I'll use a back clip in the hardware to screw it all down. Alright, so everything's been installed. i got the backs onto the lights. Everything's screwed in. I'm going to move on to putting in the simple controller to the receiver box. Here is the simple controller. There's not really much to it. Just uh, plugs into the receiver and there's two outputs so you can run the lights. So I'm going to go ahead and get this receiver box cover off and then uh, get to work. Alright, the cover's off. I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, Tactic receiver and I'll uh, save this for the future. Alright, so I got everything bound up to the new receiver and my Spectrum DX5R. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some double stick tape on the back of the receiver and get it into the box. Alright, now that all that's in there, I'm going to go ahead and put in my simple LED controller. This LED controller has a little extra fin on the plug-in, so I'm going to have to cut that little fin away so it'll fit into my receiver. So I'll do that real quick and plug it in, and we'll be ready to go with this. So what I did was I ran an extension off the receiver, and what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of stick this simple controller on the inside of the body. So when I want to take the body on and off, all I have to do is just unplug it from the extension make my life a little easier. Alright, so all I did was hook up the simple controller. I just put some monster tape to hold everything down. I used a little bit of monster tape on the wires just to keep everything tidy. But, uh, really, that's about it. Let's see if it works. And we're good. The lights are working. The signal lights are working. These aren't going to blink when I turn the wheels or anything. They're going to stay solid orange, but I don't really care. I kind of think it looks cool, so. Alright, lights are done. Time to get the BEC hooked up. There have been a lot of videos about BECs, so I'm not really going to go into too much detail, but it's a battery eliminator circuit. It basically ensures that I get power to the receiver uh, when I need it uh, for the servo. I'm running lights now. Not that they're drawing a ton of power, but still. Uh, so I'm going to hook this up. If I ever want to upgrade to a more powerful servo, then I can do that uh, without having to worry about it cutting out or browning out. But actually, I have a baby awake, so this is going to have to wait. Yep, baby's awake, so that's going to cut it for this video, guys. If you liked what you saw, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. See you soon.